During wartime all throughout history, you read accounts of soldiers bringing in or bringing with various animals. Stray cats, dogs, pigeons, or what have you. It's a way to boost morale and bring a little bit of a joy to an event that seldomly brings anything but misery. Some division pets became rather well known, but the Polish 2nd Corps went well beyond what most others did. Oh yeah, they went hardcore, and when you go hardcore, you go extreme. So extreme as to recruit a brown bear into their army. Yeah, can't get much more badass than that. But the tale of this isn't particularly well known, and a somewhat obscure part of history, but not today. In this video, we will be looking at Wotek, the Soldier Bear. Following the German and Russian invasion of Poland, thousands of Polish citizens and military members were imprisoned in Soviet gulags, in accordance with the German-Soviet Non-Aggression Pact. However, following the start of Operation Barbarossa, the Soviets reneged on this treaty and released thousands of Polish prisoners. The Polish government in exile managed to get a military treaty signed on August the 14th of 1941 that allowed a Polish army corps to be established on Soviet soil. Its first commander, General Mikhail Towarewski, began the task of forming this army in the Soviet town of Tutstoy on August the 17th. Władysław Szyszkowski, the Prime Minister of Poland at the time, ultimately chose Lieutenant General Władysław Andrzej to lead this new army. The Polish Second Corps would be made up of all the Polish military contingents that were fighting in the Allied theaters of war, with a large section being of men aiding the British in the Middle East, and Polish army units that had escaped through the Persian Corridor, and there is where our story takes place. At a railroad station at Hamadan, Iran on April the 8th of 1942, Polish soldiers encountered a young Iranian boy who had found a bear cub whose mother had been shot by hunters. One of the civilians with them took a liking to the cub, prompting Lieutenant Anatol Torevecki to buy the young bear, which spent the next three months in a Polish refugee camp established near Tehran. In August, the bear was donated to the 2nd Transport Company, which later became the 22nd Artillery Supply Company, and he was named Wotek by the soldiers, meaning Happy Soldier. From the beginning, he became a popular member of the company, spending most of his time with the soldiers of the 4th Platoon. Two of his closest friends were the young soldiers of Dmitry Slago and Heinrich Saharevich, later his caregivers. Wotek initially had problems swallowing, and was eventually fed condensed milk from an old vodka bottle with a twisted handkerchief. The vodka bottle contained a few drops of alcohol, which were accidentally mixed into the milk. The soldiers later thought that this may have been the reason why Wotek had developed a taste for alcoholic beverages, mainly for beer, in his later years. He was subsequently given fruit, marmalade, honey, and syrup, and was often rewarded with beer, which became his favorite drink. He later also enjoyed eating cigarettes, because that's what you give a bear, obviously, as well as drinking coffee in the morning. Funnily enough, the cigarettes had to be lit in order for him to consume them. When he was offered an unlit cigarette, he was quick to spit it out. In Palestine, Wotek became a hero one night by capturing a thief who had broken into an ammunition compound where the bear was sleeping. The intruder was unsurprisingly shocked to find himself confronted by the animal, and the commotion that ensued resulted in his arrest. And I mean seriously, could you imagine sneaking into a room and seeing a fucking brown bear come out of nowhere and attack you? Yeah, I want that as my security. He wasn't the only bear within the core though. Another one by the name of Mikhail was granted to the 16th Luau Rifle Battalion by the Shah of Iran. This bear was far more aggressive than Votek and attacked him multiple times when the two cups met for the first time. Mikhail was eventually given to an Arabian regiment near Kirkun and it attacked the soldiers and returned to the Polish battalion and continued to act aggressively towards both Votek and the other men. By 1943, Mikhail was granted to the zoo in Tel Aviv. 
Votek would also sleep with the other soldiers if they were ever cold in the night. He enjoyed wrestling with the soldiers and was taught to salute when greeted. He became an attraction for soldiers and civilians alike, and soon became an unofficial mascot to all the units stationed nearby. With the 22nd Company, he moved to Iraq and then through Syria, Palestine, and Egypt. Votek even had his own caregivers to look after him. However, as the unit was to go onto a transport ship to continue with the rest of the Polish 2nd Corps, a rule was in place that mascots and pets were not allowed. And not wanting to leave the adorable bear behind, and honestly can you blame them, I'd want a bear with me, they went with the obvious solution and enlisted Votek into the ranks with the 22nd Artillery Supply Company. As an illicit soldier with his own paybook, rank, and serial number, he lived with the other men in tents or in a special wooden crate which was transported by truck. Side note, I found a documentary talking about Votek Online, a DVD, and was going to go ahead and order it just to learn more. And they want to charge $295 for this thing, are you insane? It also has two 5 star reviews. Who bought this thing? Who in their right mind would buy it for that price? Now granted, I did find what possibly would have been it on Vimeo for like 10 bucks, but I'm not gonna throw money at this. I'm way too soured by that ridiculous $295 price tag. Hold up, editor's note here. As I was looking more into this DVD thing and trying to figure out exactly why it was so expensive, somehow, I fail to notice the fact that it gives a creative license for this sort of thing. And for people that don't know, creative license, it means that if you buy this, you have a license to use the footage on here for really whatever you want to end up doing. So just figured I wanted to say that so people don't go in the comments going, oh, you're an idiot for failing to recognize that. So just a little bit of a tidbit. Still think it's really too expensive. Licenses in general for this sort of thing are way too expensive. Anyway, back to the show. The 22nd Supply Company had been preparing for the re-entrance into Europe since the day they began their journey out of Russia. In the early months of 1944, they were ordered to embark for Italy to join the Allied advance. It was in Italy where Votek was exposed to the war, which his friends had been preparing for. It did not take long for him to get used to the sounds of artillery fire at the front line. In fact, he often perched himself on the tallest tree in order to observe the distant explosions. During the Battle of Monte Cassino, the 22nd Company came under heavy enemy fire as they were supplied the men with ammunition, fuel, and food. Votek had observed his comrades at the time, who continually loaded and unloaded heavy shells and boxes with ammunition. At one point, it is said that he walked towards the supply truck on his hind legs, stretched out his paws, and waited for the soldiers to give him something to carry. To their amazement, Votek effortlessly lifted a heavy box of ammunition and carried it from one truck to another and returned for more. Filled with enthusiasm, the bear marched day after day and carefully carried the vital supplies until the Polish soldiers took Monte Cassino. Votek was so careful that he never dropped a single shell, food sack, or ammunition box. Overnight, he became a celebrity, and an image of him carrying an artillery shell became an official army symbol, proudly affixed on the uniforms, pendants, and vehicles of the 22nd Company. After the fighting in Italy, the company was sailed to Glasgow, Scotland, where he was later demobilized. Votek's fame continued as he was welcomed by the locals who came to watch and cheer for the famous soldier bear. Reporters streamed into the headquarters of the 22nd Company to take pictures and to write about the brave bear. The local Scottish Polish Society nominated Votek as a fellow community member and presented him with a bottle of beer. Again, as you do. Votek would die in Edinburgh at the age of 22 in 1963. He grew to be almost six feet tall and weighed around 500 pounds. The Edinburgh Zoo authorities erected a plaque to commemorate the legendary bear. There is also a commemorative plaque in the Imperial War Museum in London and in the Canadian War Museum in Ontario, putting yet another story of the war to a close. I hope you enjoyed the brief look into the one of the lesser known aspects of the Second World War. 
If you have a topic that you would like me to cover in the future, say so down in the comments below. If you'd like to assist the channel in growing, consider donating on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.